Hey everyone, what's up? So, we all are familiar with the VLOOKUP function in Microsoft Excel, right? So, we all know how to use it, what it looks like and what it actually used for in our database, right? So, today in this video, I am going to show you the latest 5 tips and tricks which will make your VLOOKUP knowledge more better and you can do your work more efficiently and you can use more trick into it to make your formula and functions easier. So welcome back everyone on a new video of Microsoft Excel lookup series that is running into your favorite channel technical portal. Watch this video till the end. This is your host Pritham and don't worry about this worksheet. I will give you the link of downloading this workbook into my description box. So please check that. So at first in this sheet you can see that I have have a table where I have employee ID, first name, last name, department and location and here I want to use the VLOOKUP into these four cells and my lookup value will be only the employee ID. So at first let me show you the column numbers into that. That is number one column, that is two, that is three, four and five that means I have five columns into my database right so at first let me type any of the employee ID here let me take this one that is double a one two four so right here as double a one two four and I want the first name into this cell right so the very commonly used VLOOKUP formula is like this equals to then use the VLOOKUP function it is asking for lookup value so this one is our lookup value then insert a comma it is asking for table array what our table array will be it is from B6 cell to the F17 cell right this is our table array now insert a comma again now it is asking for column index number and what is the column index number column index number what we are searching for according to the table array of our database so here we are searching for the first name so the first name according to this table is included into the second column that is number two so we need to insert number two here as column index number then insert a comma again now it is asking for approximate match or exact match so here I am going to use the approximate match here you can also use the exact match function here that's nothing to worry about so close the parenthesis and hit enter now you will get the first name of this employee ID that is you can see here that is Mary right so now if I want to get the last name I need to again insert the VLOOKUP function because if you press the control and R key from your keyboard after selecting the last name cell it will simply copy the formula but your table array will be from this one to this one that's exactly happened because we didn't locked any of this right any of our range we didn't locked it so here is the tip number two that is I want to insert only one VLOOKUP formula and the result will be shown into these cells also so how to do this let me at first clear these cells right then select every of the cell where you want to apply your array VLOOKUP yes that's right we are going to use the array function of VLOOKUP so after selecting every of the cell where you want to apply the VLOOKUP now you need to write your formula that is equals to VLOOKUP right now it is asking for lookup value what is our lookup value that's this one insert a comma what is our table array our table array is from B6 to F17 so select it insert a comma now here is the actual trick to be applied here as we are going to use the array function so we need to insert at first 
the curly bracket here and at first we need the first name and where the first name is appeared that is into the second column right so insert number two comma the next one is in the third column so insert number three here number four and comma number five that means we have only five columns so we need to insert only two to five numbers into this array right so close the curly bracket insert a comma now it is asking for the rest of this formula that is the range lookup and we are going to use the approximate match here now close the parentheses and don't directly hit the enter button it will not work then we need to hit the control shift then enter look at here it automatically calculates every of this formula and showed you the result automatically and if you change any of the number let's say double a one two three it will show you the result according to your employee id isn't it cool friend so let's move on to our next tip that is let me at first clear these functions so here I am going to show you how to use the named range into your function right what I am going to show you that you can use any of your formulas not only VLOOKUP you can use it into your HLOOKUP function some function count if anywhere you want right so at first you remember what the second argument of the VLOOKUP function is that is table array now what I am going to do you can see here that I have a table array here that is from B5 to F17 so I am just simply going to select the cells then simply click on here look at here that's highlighted and name it as you want I am naming it as my database right hit the enter button now this table array has been named as the database right you can find your named range into the formulas tab then name manager look at here here it is the recently created named range right so now simply I need to use the VLOOKUP function here like this I do not need to select every time my data range right so use the VLOOKUP function equals to VLOOKUP now it is asking for lookup value what our lookup value is that's included into the B2 cell insert a comma now here as the table array what we have created as table that was into the database look at here it is showing here so it's automatically selected now insert a comma now it is asking for column index number now the rest of the formula will remain unchanged we are searching for the first name that is into the second column so insert the number two here comma we are inserting one as the approximate match of the range lookup option close the parentheses hit the enter button and that's all you will get your result automatically so now let's move on to our tip number three that is what will happen when your data will be included into another sheet so suppose I have a database into the database sheet and I need to use the VLOOKUP into this report sheet so how it will be done at first you need to remember the cell names of your database that is the name of the sheet is database and the table is from A2 cell to E13 cell remember that for your reference I am writing it down here so here the trick applies I need to use the VLOOKUP into the second sheet I have into my same workbook equals to VLOOKUP then what our lookup value is lookup value is simply included into the B2 cell insert a comma now here we have the table into the database sheet so remember it you need to at first type the sheet name carefully like I am typing look at here it is database d a t a b a s e 
then you need to use the exclamatory sign then you need to write your cell reference number or type your cell reference number that is a2 colon e3 so type it a2 colon e13 right that's your table array comma now our table didn't change so the first name is included also into number two column comma we are going to use the approximate match function so then insert number one close the parentheses hit enter and you will get your result automatically according to your database that is included into the second sheet that is called the database sheet let's move on to our next tip we look up today I will show you a shortcut of this function that means you do not need to write your database name or sheet name or anything else so insert the VLOOKUP function by using equals to symbol VLOOKUP now where is our lookup value situated that is into the B2 cell insert a comma now where it is asking for table array simply use your mouse and click on that sheet where your table array is actually inserted now you can look at the formula automatically the sheet name has been inserted here now select your database a2 to e13 now you can complete your formula again insert a comma now it is asking for column index number what we are searching for we are searching for the first name and that is included into the second column so insert number two here insert a comma again we are going to use the approximate match function so insert number one close the parentheses and hit the enter button that's all you do not need to write or remember this sheet name you can already use this with your mouse right so here is a bonus trick for you you can also use the named range here by selecting this table array from your second database right so I am selecting this table array and I am naming it as table array right hit enter and go to the formulas tab and name manager look at here database has been created as table array so we can use it anywhere into the current workbook right so here I'm going to use the table array as my VLOOKUP functions second argument right so equals to VLOOKUP then it is asking for lookup value lookup value is into the B2 cell comma now here in the table array we need to write the table array or whatever you have named that table range insert a comma now it is asking for column index number and we are searching for the last name where it is situated in that is into the third column of the table array insert a comma again and we are going to use the one as the approximate match function close the parentheses and hit the enter button that's all you will get your result automatically accurately and instantly right so that's all for today friends hopefully you like this video i will come back soon with another interesting video till then keep learning keep supporting this channel and keep practicing